we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks, Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Well, this is how you level the playing ground, right? Okay. You know, there are words Breaks I want to say, back. but I realize it's national TV, so I can't <laughs> say them, but it's all right. But you know what? Even Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, they had a thing like this, okay? So it's fine. They but did. We are excited because while, you know, short and tall recipes are beautiful, this is the one that you're going to have to focus on. It's and great. it's beautiful because it only needs six ingredients. This is our quick and easy classic baked apple cake that will really just, you know, it, it takes, it, you'll, it will be ready in no time mm -hmm. and it is best served with our Clover Classic Custard because I can't think of any dessert that, you know, that doesn't go with Clover Classic Custard. And I mean, it's, I think that you and I are the perfect people to make this recipe because the recipe will not be a tall order and it's a short cooking time as well. There we which go. Is always good. So, what we have here, I want you to do me a big favor. I've got some sugar in the bowl over there. You're going to be sugar. adding the eggs there and I want you to whisk that up nice, nicely because I want that nice and aerated. There we go. What that does, it just contributes to a more sort of a lighter result when you are going to put it in the oven. At the moment, I'm going to hoi some apples. I'm going to give them some a wedge cut on the apples, just so. And what we'll do with the apples later is that we're going to line them on the bottom of our, our baking tray. container or tray. Because the thing is, we're going to flip oh. it over. All right? Okay. We're going to, exactly. So this and then is our apples are at the beautiful. top. Beautiful. Yes. And, and this is the key to it. Uh, so what you're doing while you're aerating that. So I want you to aerate, aerate, aerate. There we go. That's it. This There's is the wrist. arm workout. Wrist. Yesterday was wrist. arms. I'm tired. Wrist. Is it in the wrist? Yes, the wrist. There we go. That's the aeration for the nation on this TV station. Perfect. Right. So, while you're doing that, I just know that the other ingredients there, you've got some dry ones. Are you okay there? This is when tiring. your arm goes lump, you've done it. Enough. So, that's, that's the whole idea with so the recipe. So, can I now add our milk? You may now add, you may add some of the dry ingredients there as well. Should I That's add the great. dry ingredients first? Yes, do the dry ingredients in the milk. I want to get a nice batter to that because you're going to pour it over the apples, which is great. Uh, the great thing about this particular stage is that in that flour, you can add some of the warmer spices. So if you've got an occasional thing, maybe Easter, Christmas is coming up, you can go a bit of nutmeg in there, you got to go a bit of cinnamon. You can spice it up with allspice as well. It's entirely up to you. A little chef's tip if you want to create a warmer outcome and that sort of beautiful flavor. So it's really versatile. Whatever time of the year, you've got this covered. Which there is we always go. great. Okay, so now I'm adding our dry ingredients, which is our flour. And I want that a nice sort of batter that comes out of that as well. And you also added the vanilla in there too. So once you've done the apples, you're gonna place them on the bottom as well. The reason why we place them on the bottom, because that direct heat is gonna cook your apples first. And it's also gonna be just really you, beautiful at the end you because cheated. you're going to flip it over. You could have made me cut the apples. I just wanted and to you see you could have done this. Okay, by the way, it's irate just a just a perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, what you'll do is once you've got the batter on top of your apples in the tray, you're going to cook it down 10 to 15 minutes and 180. Every oven's different, so I would suggest that uh, when you wrap things up and you're going to check it, do the skewer test just to make sure the skewer comes out clean. Otherwise, you're going to have to go in for a bit more minutes if that is not the, the end result over there. Uh, so, Greg, are you, by the way, could you please continue? Because, I mean, we don't want to mess up the recipe This is worse than a now. workout with dumbbells. That's it. That's perfect. Could you, it's not turning, you get, thank you. Perfect, that's it, that's it. I just feel, I just feel like you're not working hard enough on this recipe. <laughs> I'm working way, as hard sweating? as I can. Listen, I know, why is going to start showing. Why, why are you sweating? She was. This <laughs> so once the apples recipe. are cut down, I got a good base in the apples over here. Uh, remember, we're going to have this recipe available to you on expressoshow.com. But remember, apples are sorted out. And now I want you to pour it over that, please. 180 is ready to go nice and evenly all over. Oh, that's great. So you're going to hit that 180, 10 to 15. You're going to do the skewer test. If you need longer, that'll tell you all you need to know. We and don't waste around we here. We do not waste. We do not waste Despite my anything. surname. Mm -hmm. That's there right, because we're going to brown this nicely in the oven. That's it's how amazing how surnames sometimes work with cooking. That's so great. It really the is. The perfect combination. Indeed. Hey, and it's, it's batter and it's banter, which is always good for the kitchen. <laughs> Once you're done with that, it's going into the oven. Obviously, just make sure the apples are completely covered. Okay, there we go. So we're going to do a the shake. Perfect. Now you just that's it. shook I did all it. my air out. That's right. I just shook it nicely. Okay, it's going in there. That's it's sorted. The and the great, the magic of TV. We're going to go. 
right to this side, which is beautiful. I want you to come all the way this side. Look at that. We, we made that together. Oh. Served with clover, classic custard. There we go. Okay, Do you want I a have taste? to try it. Of course I have to try it. You see, and look here, we made this. This is great. I think you should try it. Should I try this? Yeah, and then oh, that's, I'll tell that's, you about that's how to make life that's so great. much more I love how I asked you to try it, and now you <laughs> tell me that I must try it. That's great. So while okay. you indulge in that, to make this treat even sweeter, remember that you still stand the chance to win 50,000 Rand when you find the Golden Bunny on a Clover Classic Custard promotional pack. So just um, like lucky winner Esther, that uh, she did that. And the competition runs until the end of May. So go on and find that golden bunny. T's and C's do apply, and those can be found on clover.co.za. And if you and you know you will be giving this classic recipe if you do want to give it a go and you've missed any of the steps, we do have a quick recap for you. But the recipe can also be found on our website. That's expressoshow.com. Feedback. Feedback. It's delicious. Good. I'll cook with you Good. any day. I love to my mouthful. Made with love by Clover.